them. Do y'all need a kicker? I don't know. I think we have some rookie that's playing. Our something. rookie has been money. He's five foot seven, 150 pounds. Jeez. He's just money, though. Five and seven, though. He gets hit once, he's going to break. He looks like an athlete, kind of. I don't know. Welcome to episode seven of Sappy Speaks. For your host here, Joseph and Jordan, where we're talking some drama in the industry. We're talking about the upcoming shows, Burbank, Dallas Card Show, um, and then we have some NFL predictions, talk about some cards and what we think about values going up and down, uh, some trades that came in um, that were surprising, and um, some fancy football talks. Enjoy the episode. Uh, this last week, in the hobby, it felt like a bunch of news came out. Um, some people saw it as good. Most people saw it as bad. Uh, a big announcement that came out was the CEO of Leaf is stepping down, it looks like. I believe he's still going to own the company. And, like, you know, we've worked with yeah. them before. Um, and that came out after the whole NFLPA thing cut ties with uh, Panini. And the day that that happened, my phone was going crazy. Uh, the only thing about that is, is that I have no idea what that truly means. <laughs> you mean you don't um, have Panini and have all the answers? I don't even think like, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if any, anybody answers. understands. So people were like asking me, like, what do I think it means? And I don't, I'm not going to jump to any type of conclusions until it actually happens and something concrete comes out. I mean, that's pretty concrete with with NFLPA cutting ties three years early, but they still do have the contract with NFL. And so I know there's a lot of um, people coming out on YouTube or different types of social media saying this. It looks like this can happen or this can happen. And all we're doing is jumping to conclusions. Uh, what do you like? I know. It, like just as a collector, not working for Sappies, what, what what would you think like when that came out? Like, what's the first thing that came to your mind? I guess the first thing that came to my mind was like, man, Fanatics is gonna own everything very quickly. They're it, gonna like they're doing it and speeding up the process a couple of years from because we thought in like twenty five or twenty six it was gonna happen eventually, but it's like boom, they're trying to make it happen right now. Yeah, I could tell you uh, that's my like collector outside the business. Inside the business, like when it comes to like ordering wax and buying stuff like that, nothing's changed yet. I don't, so, I, and I don't think it will for a while. I agree. I just think that it's going to keep being the way that things are right now. Um, a little bit has changed. A little bit has changed uh, as far as nothing from like the wax part of it, but just because of what people don't know, it's it's bumped up the oh for sure the, the value of not, football. I mean not knowing what's coming, not knowing if pricing are going to go up, down. People are, it's just ended up bumping everything up because there's like, are we going to have football prism next year? Are we going to have NT next year? People Flawless is a big one that Flawless, everyone's worried yeah. about. But I think it's – I see, I believe, and this is my opinion only, that Flawless is still coming out. And if those other products come out, they're just going to come out without the three. Some people thought it. Bryce yeah. Young. I think it's just those three. Stroud and Levis. Yeah, so Stroud, three. Bryce Young, and Levis. Um like and I don't want to get into detail because Panini has contracts with over 300 NFL players still. So, and it looks like the NFLPA was telling them if you have a contract, keep, abide by that, go through with it. You know, talk to your agent, blah blah blah. So, is change coming? Yes, we know that. What type of change is it? Nobody knows. I, in my opinion, I, nobody has came to me and told me this is how it's going to be. So, I think that we kind of just. Is it smart to pick up NFL Panini product right now? That's probably not a bad thing. No. It's not a bad thing. I know that it's already like got a bump. I want to say I'm conservative when I say 20%, maybe 10 to 20% um, on wax. If you can get good products and hold it right now, like even a lot of people aren't selling nothing NFL. changes. Like nothing so changes, you're still good product that you can at worst break even on. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I would say that. But the thing is, is is like right now we know that like if you can get a good football product right now and you're a breaker or or you just flip wax or whatever the case may be you have a shop i would say be a little conservative but still sell it For like sure. sell it because the prices right now are 
Take like, your money. Yeah, take yeah. Your, take your profit. I mean, it's off of whatever the rumors are, but still. Um, and that's just my opinion about it. I'm like, I'm like, don't freak out until you know and you hear uh, and you actually see like when it stops. Oh, we know for a fact Panini's not coming out with blah, blah, blah. Correct. And that has not happened yet. And Nobody. Not, we're, yeah. It's all what's it called? It's all um, hearsay. Hearsay. Uh, but that was a lot of drama. It um, and it, it's two huge companies that are just I really one's know. bigger than the other. And they're just they're kind of proving it. But. I just wish we, <laughs> some way we could all just work together. And no, just, I mean, because at the end of the day, it, it comes we down all have to the same interest. We all want to make money. No one wants cards. to see Prism, National Treasures, Optic. I mean, there's so many good products that they make. Yeah. No one wants to see that Slag, all go away. Be, and Green that's why Green. prices are going up and people are holding more. Um, they even, I've been told like other companies aren't, aren't even selling their football at all they're just holding like it big 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 like i'm talking like david adams and I mean, and, and blowout like um but again i get it i get everybody kind of like wanting to know but and, and and jumping to conclusions i just don't think that that's the right thing to do until you know we have some Everyone we know that they're suing like each other instant gratification and we're not getting that yeah like, it's not just not gonna happen it's gonna be a long term because then they get to go to court and all that stuff so it's not gonna be like this is just kind of also going with how hype out sells everything else oh for sure and this is just another thing of how that like a rumor about hype or whatever you want to call this um it's pushing panini football up way Definitely. high and so and i love uh panini products i mean, uh, I mean they're for awesome football wise are the best yeah um, and we get to grade a lot of it and see tons of like the best cards in the Definitely. products, NT, products, fallers, yeah. contenders. I mean, yeah. we grade a ton of those cards. Yeah. But, um, and it, it's crazy cause it happened what three weeks after national. Yeah. Um, and so I kind of feel like right now there's this, it happens every year where they call it like the national hangover or like the national, it, I don't see it as bad bad this year it doesn't seem like like cards are still flowing like you 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 had said you had mentioned something yesterday where somebody said that the hobby is this is the healthiest the, hobby's ever been not value wise obviously and 21. drama obviously too yeah but it's, like as far as collectors and like, like buying flipping yeah. trading if you're collecting what i don't like know about ever but i would say it's very healthy right now yeah. like and obviously people are you know, savvy's bias he works in the industry but honestly i'm seeing how it is on my I mean, end and as, i think I mean, it's very healthy at the same time like there's been times where yes we've still moved cards but there's been times where it was tougher to move cards and tougher to make profit and exactly to make deals happen so if you're able to play on the ebb and flows of um the hobby you'll always be okay in my opinion especially if you do this full time Go with the highs go with the lows i was talking to somebody play, yesterday though. he pretty much only does baseball but he's dabbling in the idea of buying football cards also i told him honestly like we're at the moment not like i'm not saying you're gonna lose money but you're playing you're like with fire right now in my opinion unless you're flipping it quick because you got like a week and football we both know it if they have a bad week one their cards are gonna go down they'd be tough to move they, two weeks or two weeks yeah, yeah well it's next thursday um well i mean that's only one game though right yeah true but like that, just like in general. Wait, next like, Thursday? Yep. Is it? Lions and um, Chiefs. Oh, dang. Thursday Night Football at the Dallas show. That's going to be sick. Speaking of shows, we have tomorrow, you guys are heading to Burbank. I'm headed Thursday. Yeah. What do you think? Oh, we, my we did it. We did the show last year, or we did a Burbank show last year. I don't believe it was this one. Was no, it? They, it's a bigger convention. Oh, yeah. So, no. No, no. I'm saying, was it this time that we did it? At, at this time, I don't think it was this close to after national. Either way, Yeah. I'm super pumped. I'm so excited that burbank has this show uh west coast like this is like the west coast nationals mm -hmm. east coast nationals is white plains which i've never been to i do want to check that out sometime i heard that part of new york is is considered new york mm -hmm. i heard it's it's nice but um burbank yeah. is going to be crazy i'm talking to people on whatnot i'm talking to people on social media and they're just saying so many people are going to be there i mean We've had like two or three customers come in today that are going. Yeah. I, and I feel like besides Dallas Card Show and the National. It might be number three. Might have called Chicago. I mean, Chicago's National is the best. Oh, agreed. Agreed. But they're, um, 
I'm this this like, show is going to be crazy. Uh, Only thing is, is going from coast to coast. So like, yeah, we don't know a coast, ton of people. Uh, we do have a lot of friends that are coming, but with Dallas show being the next week, I think a lot of people are just like, that don't want to do that coast to coast. We're lucky because we're in the middle. Yeah. So we go one and way Dallas or the other here. and Dallas is here. So I was yeah, talking was to awesome. Chris about it. He, so they're going to LAX, mm -hmm. which he made that was first movie. so it's a six and a half hour flight mm. and then minimum with that like minimal traffic it's an hour and a half uber oh yeah so you're talking about eight hours of travel just to get there from new york at least it's anaheim's nice you've never have you been to anaheim mm. anaheim's really nice um it's right near disney there's tons of good food there um i'm going to uh go to psa on wednesday so that'd be really cool it's my first time out there nice. to visit them and so um that 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 area should be really nice and uh those guys coming from the east coast have a long trip for sure but that just shows how good the show is yeah. expected to be because they're yeah. making and they're coming to dallas next week so yeah it's like i think what a lot of people are doing though is staying. flying to cali staying a couple of days and then coming to dallas like a couple of days early because I mean, some people are like, hey, just do, can not. you do this or that? Or like making plans, trying to plan. I think that's super cool definitely, to definitely. be able to if do like a two week big show. Because uh, Burbank, I think, is going to be, I think this is going to be the best Burbank show that they've had. I believe it's um, the biggest. It's at Anaheim Convention Center, which is two floors. Nice. We're getting this set up with Houston Card Show. Shout out to Lewis and lupe lupe our favorite golf people yes um well, Lupe's not they favorite. they throw a good show that will be at at the end of september um andrew trong he's going out there with us turkla and waxed is going to be there with us nice. um and uh i mean i mean i could go on and on with different companies that are going to be there i'm super pumped for it i'm bringing a lot of money to buy hopefully we do a lot of trades and sells too but I'm, my main objective there is to buy right. as much as i can much as we can yeah fill up because then i'm just gonna do it again in, here in dallas. in dallas yep so i'm super excited back to back right after burbank we got to get right into and get ready for a dallas card show which is going to be great card show again um the golf event that we were going to do is too hot out here still so maybe in november we'll push that out um and so I think they're both going to be really good. How far is Anaheim from San Francisco? A far. Okay. So I wonder, because of Trey Lance, what's the what do you think his market's going to be like? With okay, right now, it's it's like hot. So I, you know, that I have some Trey Lance. A lot, a lot of people know that I have Trey Lance that I put away because I thought if he was able to make it in that program or in, in with the 49ers, He's good. Agreed. He doesn't have to be great, obviously. Well, I mean, a lot of people, like, I know you think that Brock Purdy's great or did great, but um, he really, he did. He, I, I, I'm I, not giving him enough credit. You're giving him too much Correct. credit. We got to so find a middle ground. There's a, there is a middle ground um, because of I saw, I watched him at uh, Iowa State, though, and he had Brees Hall, and he, he had a good receiver, too. Amon Ra didn't go there. No, no they went no, to USC. USC. I know they they look the same, right? Yeah. The colors, but, um, but like watching him last year, I mean, uh, I do think that he could be great. I think I think I think that he could be good. Um, like him coming off of elbow surgery is huge, right? Big, big For a quarterback, big injury. Um. Do I think he's going to be I, – I just – I don't think he can jump into that. And maybe he can because we're forgetting about, like, Debo had a bad down year yeah. for sure. They picked up CMC. Kittle um, and Ayuk are both Kittle really was, good. Kittle came at the end, though, With right? Um, Brandon Ayuk is an underrated receiver. Very much. And then anybody would love to have that defense. I oh, think the only sure. defense that's um, – they're number one in my the book. Only pro the number only problem they're facing the right now Philly is and Bos Bos is holding out. I mean, that's a big I mean, thing. defensive player of the year last year. So a lot of I people don't understand him. sometimes what the different levels. So those corners and safeties are a little bit better because they're they don't have to cover as long, as long because of him coming sure. in. So <clears throat> I like that team. I like they're, they're so good and they're going to be there every year. You don't want to see them. But, but trading, I'm not scared of trading Trey Lance to the Cowboys. 
I feel like Cowboy guys have for like steal. I mean, look at it that. now. A fourth round pick, yes, there's potential. Dak's a fourth round pick. We've had other good fourth round picks, but for someone, but you who's, can't look can, for someone who's a number three should, pick. Okay, like, I guess two years ago, that's looking crazy. at a fourth round pick like that is not smart. I don't know. I guess, I guess more fourth round picks are not Dak than are Dak. Yeah, exactly. So you gotta you gotta <clears throat> value a fourth round pick. To what it really is, right? A fourth round pick. Sure. No, right. The only the only problem I I've when I first heard it, you guys saw. I was like, I don't like this. What is? What are we doing? My fear is I don't want quarterback controversy at all. I don't want that in the back of Dak's head at all. I feel like I want him to just be relaxed, go out there, do his thing, cut down the interceptions, play better. But like, if he's like, oh, <coughs> excuse me, if he if we start one and two and he has four interceptions in the first three games. Boom! People would be like, "Trail, give Trey Lance the ball. Give him a chance." Give is that chance. is that deserved though in your eyes? Twelve and five in the last two years. We got one playoff win. You we said did. one touchdown, four interceptions, and they're one and two. Uh, no, no, I'm just saying four interceptions, and we're one and two to start the year. I, I mean, I think I feel like I don't think has Dak done enough to for uh, put any quarterback in that position that has done what Dak has done. Do you think he's done enough? I don't think if Kirk Cousins is one and two and throws four interceptions in his first three games that there's a they, they're talking about uh, putting the backup in for him. It's not Trey Lance though. I don't know who their backup is. The, that's the one but thing. But the is, thing is, it's like how good the Forty ers gave up three first round picks to get him. But that's, that's why that, it's that's a just, still that just th- could have been a bad trade. I, bad I trade feel for them. it could it could have been. Yeah, it, it definitely, definitely, definitely that, looks like it. Yeah, yeah, because y'all got him for a fourth. But I feel like y'all did well because. You have a young guy that can be behind Dak. I don't. I haven't heard anything remotely close to a quarterback controversy. No, no, I'm, I'm not saying I haven't yet. But, See, that's good. But you though. know how it goes, especially in off, Dallas. Yeah, he starts off slow at all. But that's just part of being a cowboy. For one, that's true. For two, he's not. It's not like if he throw, comes out in two games or three games and throws four touchdowns and one interception or whatever you said, the other the, way around, or or, or four four interceptions and one touchdown. You're, you guys are kind of being like, I, I know this will happen because I've lived here. Yeah. Dak's being Dak kind of thing. Yeah. He can throw five touchdowns and one interception. Dak's being Dak. He go, it goes both ways, and that's not good for him. Definitely. So then that's why entering this young quarterback, what if he starts like doing – that's like a good mentor for him. True. I don't think that that's going to happen, though. Everything that you're saying is like worst-case scenario, I it think. It is. I think you're – you I know how Cowboys fans are. Yeah, that is true. But also – most Cowboys fans don't even know he's only thrown like 400 something passes in his lifetime, right? Since or is like it college? Yeah, that, no, I think that's including high school. That's I mean, I th- I think I, I don't crazy. know. It's something I be, no, it maybe like 800, but it's something very low, very right? Low. I rem- I do remember seeing that. And uh, you know, they just know that they gave up a lot for him. And so, every single one of my friends that are Cowboys fans, are besides excited. you, was was excited. Every single one of them. So, like with you, with you having cards, I know mm-hmm. you have some really nice ones. You've been holding for a while. What's what's your plan here? Do you continue to hold and just hope maybe one day he's Cowboys starting quarterback? Or? I take a loss because they're not, obviously not to where they were, right? So mm-hmm. I take a loss. I'm thinking I'm on like a quarter to half of them, and I put a quarter to half of them away. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, try and get some money back while he's have a hot. I'll take some out there. There's so many cowboy fans everywhere, and it's a. I mean, could he have been put in a better scenario for me? Uh, Unless he started, I guess. Obviously, if he got to a starting, but being a Dallas Cowboy, his prices are going to go up. But you know what's weird? Honestly, I feel like cowboys don't really pay up for. In the, in our industry now that I'm thinking about, it, they don't. No one's looking for. I think Micah sells okay. Micah does sell good, but that's because that's like he's like the best w- top three defensive player in the NFL. A top 10, it means a top so ten player. So you got to do NFL. that though. To, for yeah, them to, for it, you would think like Lakers sell well, Yankees sell well. Like you would think what Cowboys. Lake, what Lakers sell well. Kobe, come on, Kobe. Kobe LeBron, didn't, Kobe didn't sell well. Until Shaq, Kobe didn't sell well until he died. Shaq doesn't Shaq, sell that well. You can get Shaq all for hundred bucks. Not in Laker uniform. Two, three hundred bucks? That's not great. LeBron, That's still, that, LeBron that, sells well. Deck out of rookies you can get for probably like 150 bucks, 100 bucks. Yeah, but you, you're talking about. What you, about those guys if they were rookies on the Lakers? That's no, different. No, def- rookie auto is definitely on the Lakers. That's what I'm different. saying. Like, yeah. Dak, like Dak should be selling for more than he but should. But you just also named two of the top ten players of all time. Okay. Dak's not even. A, Dak's like. You can argue Dak's the second best qu- Cowboys quarter in America. I'm time. trying to think of a Laker that's like. I think I feel like Brandon Ingram sold well when he was drafted. Him, D'Angelo Russell, they both sold decent. Um, he was drafted by Lakers. Yeah, they were back to back years. Oh uh, yeah, then he went back. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. And then, um, no, Kuzma, Lonzo. Yeah, yeah actually, all no, of them. that's true. See, that but that's, yeah. it, that's what I'm saying. The Yankees, too. Think about all the Volpe, all those guys. Uh, D- Dominguez is still selling well. He hadn't played a play in the that's major true. leagues yet. But Cowboys should have that bump way more um, than they do. It's just, I feel There's like. There's no hype. What it, Cowboys it, players it, have I, hype? It, no, you're right, though. It's Cowboy fandom. The way they think. Oh, for sure. Dak has one bad game. That well, helped, I hate Dak. Yeah, that hurts the hobby. Agreed. For them. So, yes. I, so, I can kind of see that. that Because remember, I was I was telling you guys, like, when you first came up here, I was like, I think Dak's way better than oh, all y'all think. think he is. Yeah. And he ended up proving me uh, right. I just, I want to know how many intercept Because I still think Dak's, like, when people aren't taking Dak off the board, and football, and they're like worrying. People, they're like, "Oh, no quarterbacks are left." I'm people like, had him "Dak is still People there. were literally drafting backup quarterbacks before, before I took Dak as my starter. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wade, have you looked at his team? Is it? Is it? He has stacked? four quarterbacks. Yeah, yeah, he did that on purpose. He's <laughs> to oh, match three, all three, his one. four. To he has cousins to a uh, golf and Gino. I look golf. He, he does have Gino. Mm-hmm. He, he just told me, me about those three. Um, but that's – he said he didn't get, like, the one quarterback he wanted, so he loaded up on quarterbacks. Because to match all those wide receivers. Mm-hmm. And the only one he doesn't – I don't think he's he going to play matchups, he said. He doesn't have a Dolphins wide receiver, so he's trying to trade me Tua. But I don't want to – I mean, I have – he offered Tua for Mike Evans. I said no. I have Dak. I think Dak and Tua are going to have very similar numbers. If he were to give you, points. like, a – little- he doesn't have anybody else. Tua from Mike Evans? Oh, that's close, dude. But it's like, then what do I do but with you, Dak? You, Just you, cut you, Dak? You need to – Mike you, Evans is like time yeah. out. If Tua was there, would you have taken him over Dak? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, but I'm saying, so, but that's, but, giving, but up Evan, Ev- that's Ev- giving up Mike Evans. That's giving up Mike Evans. But is Evans your? He's not. He's no, not he's even my, top he's three. On, he's is on he? My bench, no. Yeah. So all I would do is take a similar type I just of don't receiver. Think he's have anybody I like? Nobody. Really. Who are his receivers? <sighs> I think Mike Evans would have started as his receiver. His running backs are Ooh. Henry and Ch- and uh, um. Jacobs. So the hands running backs are really he good. Killed but he's not going to give either of them up. Yeah. Um, for fantasy, I want to say thank you to everyone who voted on Instagram. That was awesome. Made me draft Young. What was your – uh, they gave you a – F. Oh, F. I got an F because I drafted a kicker in the first round. You but still did these things. I was happy. League. I was happy. I have Trevor Lawrence. My wide receivers are Calvin Ridley and Garrett Wilson, who I think both are going to be great. Uh, my running backs are Pacheco and – uh, the Lions rookie. What's his name? Gibbs. Gibbs. So those are my two running backs. Um, I don't know what to expect. If you put take out Koo and put Tyree Kill as my first round pick, the team is insane. Yeah, but I think that's who little, I got. Yeah, yeah, I got I got Hill. I mean, all three of my teams I drafted. I tried to get a little similar, but they're not at all. I so, have one but same player on all good. four of my teams. Um, is it a running back? It is. It's not Gibbs. It's not. Um, Swift? No. I don't have him on one team. Um, I don't know. Jamal Williams. Oh, yeah. Who I think, Kamara, Kamara gets banged up sometimes, and he's suspended three games. Yeah. So, that combination. He's going to get the bulk of it. I'll tell you that right now in the first three games. Williams? Yeah. Oh, for sure, yeah. Any goal line he's but getting. Yeah, he'd probably get that even when Kamara's there. Um, Probably, yeah. Probably, yeah. Um, but fan- fantasy football, I did three leagues. It was fun They're drafting on all three of them. Uh, I, re- I, I know it's not going to happen because you're really good at it. If you came in last in that league, we just did, that would be the greatest thing ever for me. That's what I feel like everybody's rooting for that in that league, just because it's me because it's at the you. Shio. <laughs> so our last place in, in one of our leagues has to wear a sumo wrestler blow up suit to the Dallas card show <laughs> for three hours. So I hope and pray that that's not me. Cause how bad would that, I, I'll be like walking around for trying I'm to hoping, get, honestly, you would probably be the best funniest for me. I think Danny would be second funniest. Danny would he be is real six, funny. Seven yeah. And huge. Yeah. And just seeing him walk around. I just hope. It's honestly, not any of us, any of us, I just pray it's not me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was that, Fan, uh, fantasy football was fun tons of fun and um i'm ready to see i'm so excited for week one week one football i mean cards cards are you know slowly getting more and more hype in football um who is somebody that's selling crazy that i was like oh uh sam Howell. 
So did you see what Ron Rivera said? What? He came out and said, week 18 against us for the Commanders, and Hal played. It was the only game he started last year. Showed him how good he was, and he would he wishes he would have gotten him in game action earlier because he would have played him more in this season last year. Nice. Which, but I mean, his NTR page was like five grand, like raw. So I saw one on Facebook today. Someone turned down four grand for one. I feel like that's crazy. Sh- well, Brock is what eleven. Raw, a nine five ten just sold for like twenty five. <clears throat> that we graded great with us. Happy sports cards. Um, candy pickets are like nine. Raw, right? Yeah, raw, yeah. raw. He's got that stupid gold ink. I don't. Why understand. did he just? Because some of them were signed with so, blue ink. So the, the the customer that just brought it up, um, it was like, I think he ran out of ink in the middle of signing. I mean, and I was thinking, I was like, that kind of makes. There's just no way he somebody, wasn't there. Somebody there didn't have a blue pen or a black I don't pen. Know. I hate when they do that personally. Like, you, have you ever seen the card? I think Kobe and who is it? Kobe and LeBron or Kobe and Jordan. One of them's that fat silver ink, and one's like the regular blue, a it's dual auto. That's lame. And I just I don't know. I, I think it looks. I, I'm not used to that at all. Like he, so he showed me a Kenny Pickett in the '99 with the gold ink. Did like seventy nine hundred, the blue ink did ninety five. I believe it. It's probably a lot cleaner looking. Yeah, it does. It um, it does. Look the gold ink still a nice card. Don't it get is. Wrong, but. It is all football stuff. Um, is doing well. If you can like, I got all black that select stuff. It's like pop, anywhere from pop one to ten. It's doing really well. Like so, that's where I really killed it on the bulk stuff. Like silver concourse, Kenny Pickett PSA ten, baser. I mean select silver rookie is like what twenty dollars raw um they're selling on ebay for like 140 150 um i think that it's good to be able to get if you get if you break a lot or if you're able to get cards in right away to get graded you want yours to be one of the first comps that being said i'm really happy to see where the whole industry is especially football um i think there's a little bit of time left but if you can like I'm doing this. I'm picking up basketball as much as I can right now. I honestly feel like every superstar besides Team USA that's playing in this world looks really good. Like every, like Shea looks good, Shy, um, RJ Barrett, Luca looks great. You but Luca's at, Luca's scoring like tw- 37, 36, 10, and 7. I don't remember what it was. They were showing like the, who's been the best players on the at the FIBA. Like I don't remember what stats added up, but it was like a percentage of like – whatever luca was at like 58 percent of something with his team the next highest in the entire like fiba world cup was like 38 percent. he's like right was there. it anthony edwards no it was uh shay shay yeah he's the so high, good the highest for usa was reeves See, that dude's playing crazy yeah i just saw something with him and brandon ingram like their their time and minutes and everything and ingram, so porn. ingram actually came out and said he was frustrated about like what how He's been playing it because he hasn't been playing too much yeah. because the bat Reeves and other people are taking minutes, but he's like trying to get adjusted to not being the main guy. Cause on the Pelicans, it's pretty much his team. And if Z- unless Zion's, Zion's there. there. Yeah. Um, Zion. CJ is good though, too. Zion's a sneaky play again. He's yeah. going to get hugged. He's, I'm, you I'm saw telling that picture you, of him? yeah, he look, he's looking nice. And I'm telling you if he's, it's a big, what if, cause it hasn't happened it's a yet. Massive. If. It's the he's same. Healthy. It's kind of the same thing as Tua, right? Like he hadn't played a full season yet Correct. with the team. Did Tua play his first year? His full? first season, he I think he played most. Of the okay, games. so but, but Zion's already starting to come back up. His prices are Zion coming back is up. Top ten player in the league, and he's and when he's healthy. When he's oh, efficiency! I bet he's, he's top, top three. Five, yeah, yeah. Um, it's just I'm going to keep doing it because I think if I can, we can just get healthy seasons out of him again, big what if his cards are going to go crazy? Okay, yeah, I mean crazy but yeah i think basketball is a play um i can't wait i love that time when like it's postseason baseball like october football and then you got basketball just starting up and then they put like the special games on thanksgiving christmas all that stuff so i'm really excited to see all this stuff i'm really excited for cards there's a big question mark about what's going to happen i feel like everybody just chill and watch it watch it see what happens and then once we st- start seeing like new products come out from tops or products still coming out with panini or whatever the case may be then you can react about it but 
until then, just like you said, ride the wave. With football season next week, we're not going to have any more podcasts before them. And you know how much people love to clip stuff and bring it back to you when you're absolutely wrong. Mm-hmm. Would you like to do predictions for the year? Sure. Um, I'll do – let's do – Let's do Super Bowl teams. Who's going to make it to Super Bowl? Who's going to win? MVP of the regular season. Um, uh, hot take, I guess. And then rookie of the year. Um, rookie of the year. Maybe, so maybe we'll do. I'll let you. I'll let you start it off with. Uh, let, let's go Super Bowl. Super Bowl. I think. I think Chiefs and Niners. I'm going to go repeat. Chiefs Eagles and Eagles. Yeah, yeah. So it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. If it was ne- either of those wouldn't surprise um, either of us. All right. Rookie of the year. Let's go there. For offense, I really think a, one of those quarterbacks will have to do crazy well to get it away from Bijan. So I you're think, taking Bijan? I think he's going to have 400 touches and just be the whole offense. Let me think about this. Rookie of the year. For defense, I think Christian Gonzalez. You know what I'm going to go with? I'm going to go with Anthony Richardson. Okay. I'm going to go with Anthony Richardson. And then for defense, I'm going to go. I'm also going to, I'm going to go Christian Gonzalez. I think he's just set up for success there. And and he's just a sponge too. And he like is a coachable player and stuff like that. It's everything that I'm reading. So I'm going to go those two. Okay. Now we got MVP. Um, I mean, it's hard to bet against Mahomes. <laughs> Did he get last year? Yeah. Damn. It's hard to bet against him. Maybe, okay. I guess maybe you let's play. Like, let's play. Like we can't horse. take. Yeah, we can't take Mahomes. Okay. Everybody else is a dark horse because <laughs> of how good Mahomes is. <laughs> um. Tua. You want to go Tua? I think if he stays healthy, he will be. But obviously, I'm, I'm going to go you. Allen. Okay. I'm going to go Josh Allen. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Let me. Uh, let me. <laughs> Josh. I know you Maybe love Josh Allen. Maybe he could. Who knows? Um, Maybe but could. you know what? I'm going to change it. I'm going to go Burrow. Okay. Burrow. I don't hate that. Yeah, yeah. Hurts, I'm going to go Burrow. Hurts wouldn't surprise me. I wanted to, I want to go Hurts so bad. I wanted to take Hurts, but that, I feel like that's – I'm. I've been just taking a lot of Eagles and Hurts and stuff like they're that. Great, so I'm going to go Burrow. I'm going to go Burrow. So, and then what was the last one we wanted? Um, so we were going to do good teams – or um uh surprises. Oh, like good hot... and bad. Okay. So you want to start off with maybe a team that's gonna do well that you don't think people are I'm gonna say this, and even though it's my team, I, I, I think we're expected to beat win that division, right? Mm-hmm. It, but not by it's not like if somebody else like wins, no one's gonna be a, 10, yeah, 7, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna say the Saints are gonna win their division and a playoff game. Okay. So I'm gonna say that's for the good. I think what's crazy is that probably just what everyone's expecting means you'll either play the Cowboys or Eagles in the first round. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, I mean, Derek Carr looks like the he best. Looks jacked. He's he looks ever jacked. He looks like but, I mean, that doesn't matter. It just, it matters of our defense. Like we just, we, we took the rookie kicker over Will Lutz. Really? Yeah. Wow. And Will guess Lutz who picked really up good. Will Lutz right away? Sean Payne. Hopefully us. Oh, Broncos. I think that the team that regresses, mm, the ugh, t- so many good teams. Yeah. But I, I got to pick one. I'm going to go with. I want to go with two. Go there's with two. Both? There's two in my head. One of these two teams won't do as well. No, I'm gonna just go with one. I think I know one. Minnesota Vikings. That's exactly what I knew you were gonna say. <laughs> Is that who you're going with? No, no. Uh, so I actually I'm one of the people who they had the worst defense in the NFL history last year. Did they? They've went 14 and 3. Did they? Yes. Or 13 and 4. One of those two. It doesn't, yeah, either one. That's but crazy. I'm saying, like, with the worst defense in NFL history, Kirk Cousins deserves his flowers for that. No, he's and Jefferson. I, I think Jefferson. Kirk Cousins is very reliable. Correct. He's yeah, not going to yeah. win you the Super Bowl, but he's going to get you to the playoffs. Yeah, I yeah, think. yeah, yeah. So you think they're going to take? Who's the other team? Uh, the other team was the New York Jets. Ooh. A lot of people are pumping them up. What do you, you think? You think they made the playoffs? I don't see. That was another thing. Is like, what is bad for them? I feel like they're like. Bad for them would be absolutely no playoffs, right? Yeah, I guess so. Um, yeah, I, I think that 
It's so hard. Okay, let's name the AFC teams. I think that are getting in. So division the Bills. Win, the name division winners. Bills. I think the Bills are going to okay. win the division. Dolphins, I think, are going to get in that, from them. Oh, okay. they're, they're not. That's, not the, that's the same uh, division. Yeah, same division. Yeah. So I think they're going to get in. Okay. I think that Chiefs. the Bengals will win their division and the uh, Baltimore will get in also. Okay. I think Chiefs will win their division. I think the Chargers should get in. So that's all, then there's no there's all the Walker spots. And then I think the Jaguars get in. It, I mean, I, I think people are sleeping they're, on the Titans a little bit. Okay, so, so let's just, just talk about this. Titans, so, so, so Jets, Jags, Chiefs, Bengals, uh, and AFC East. You have Bills. So the, I have Dolphins. I, I'm talk, Okay, so let's just talk about teams that I didn't name. Jets. Um, Raiders Titan, and Broncos. Titans. Nah. I mean, Broncos maybe. Broncos. I'll put Broncos in that conversation. Browns and Steelers. Both those guys. And then... Um, Patriots. But Jimmy, so like still four, 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 like I'm going to take one team out of there and say four teams, and they could be one of those four. Yeah. Um, I mean, the guy you just said won MVP. I don't. Think the, I do not think the Bills make the playoffs. Really? Yeah. Which is a crazy take, and I'm sure the odds. I think that they're the odds on favorite to win the division. I just think that the Jets. I take Aaron Rodgers over Josh Allen. We know you already know how I feel about two over Josh Allen. The not D- Mac Jones. No, 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 no. Okay. I'd say Josh Allen match. I think Patriots are going to be if their defense keeps them in games, they'll win some games. But yeah. I think other than that, they'll be horrible. They're like a team you don't want to play. Correct. If they, if I don't want the Cowboys keep... to play them. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just think the Jets are better. Like, I think Garrett Wilson will have a better year than Stephon Diggs. Ooh, I think that's a the def- hot take. I think the defense is better. I mean, Garrett will like Bills defense are pretty good. Just de- Sauce Gardner is better than anybody on the Bills defense. Uh, poor year. Reed, yeah, isn't Sauce he an all, all pro? pro? Sauce was all pro last year. So know. is he. But Reed was all Reed was a pro bowler, the other cornerback. Yeah. Um Dalvin Cook, people forget about him. He was an all oh, pro. He was yeah, a pro bowler yeah, last I year. Totally forgot about that. Um Lazard and Cobb. Rogers already has connections with that. You were, everybody's like, man, on them though. But their connections he already has. McCall Hardman is fast as heck. Yeah, I forgot that he went there. Um, no, that's why I went with Minnesota instead of the Jets. But I think they're going to be good. I think the Dolphins won the division, but it wouldn't surprise me if the Jets won the division. Cool. So those are our predictions. Let us know in the comments what you guys think. I'm we, sure there's some you guys disagree with, so let us know. Yeah, comments. for sure. We like controversy. We want controversy, so makes it makes it more fun. Definitely. Yeah. Our website is now live, www.sappysportscards.com. Um, if you have any questions about it, definitely reach out to us. We have a chat feature on there as well. Um, we have our merch on there. Um, you can go to our whatnot, this Sappy Speaks podcast. Um, we pretty much have everything that we offer on the website. So make sure to check out the website. We thank you so much for watching. and. If you guys are new here, drop, drop a like and sub. We appreciate you guys for watching. Our link tree is in the bio. You can check us out on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, here on YouTube, Facebook, and all of your grading needs. We will catch you in the next one. Peace.